see his stocks go as quickly as he takes them. It's all going to depend on how well Anti can keep him safe or support him from behind. And we were both wrong. We actually see the MPB bail. Actually, yeah. actually have never seen him play this character. He actually took a set from Esam just before they both moved away from Miami. Oh, really? In this matchup, yeah. Uh, okay. Two sets, I believe. He won the tournament right from under his feet. Uh, so this Bayonetta, at least not a complete slouch, but let's see how it's able to hold up in doubles, especially against a player like Anti, who really loves doubles ever since Brawl, even. He's just shown some serious favoritism for this format, and his character, I think, benefits from it, too. Yeah, no, uh, I can definitely agree with that. No. I'm looking at a dead even game. Both people are just going off of their 1v1s. Ooh, yeah. the scraps, though. Yeah, on the other side of things, we have Esam, of course. Can't forget about how good Pikachu does against Captain Falcon. Yes. That could really be some trouble and an easy throw combo. Pikachu is such an asset in teams because you could set up forever off forward and back throw. Yeah. No, especially with like, the huge hitboxes that Bayonet has with their smashes, it's going to be no problem. And then even if you're just going for damage, which is worse than everything. Right. She does so much damage, so much knockback with the smash attacks. So pairing her with any good set of characters is really useful. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, Esam that, though, so yeah, just so scrappy, all, all on his own there. Goes for the throw and then immediately runs away, hits the other partner. All right, tied up with stocks now. But... I like that the thunder into starting a bayonetta combo from there. Land the neutral air from MVD, just gonna hold it out there, but no, fatality so crafty. Every time you see him off stage, he'll dip as low as possible, save his second jump and then upbeat outward or some crazy stuff, and he always finds a way. Yeah. And actually giving up his invincibility too to go for that back air, but. <laughs> and I wanted the beads. Wow, that was such a raw setup. The yeah, fair to roll really behind was. grab. <laughs> Something that you wouldn't see from Zenyu, but definitely from Anti. Just the two <laughs> different schools of thought on Mario. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Anti's like, do whatever it takes, whereas Zenyu is like, Performing Optimal. surgery, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but they both have clear ups and downs, as you see. Anti really just getting the job done here so far. Healthiest player on the screen, of course. But looks like Esam and MPD want to change that if they can. I also like that uh, Fatality is just kind of going for like a safe tilt that would just take out. Oh, the stop! Nah. Yeah, not, not quite off the top. Even with max rage, that unfortunately didn't kill. Fatality still hanging on. Oh god. Friendly fire. Yeah, commentator's curse too. And the up smash from Anti just showing why Mario is so dangerous in teams. Having something big that covers behind you, especially with a little bit of intangibility. Of course, yeah. Mario's head no longer a hurt box during that move. Could get really dangerous. Oh, we got both of them? Nah. Tally got singled out, but he'll find his way out of there. Esam, one of his favorite moves though. That oh, forward no! smash. <laughs> Just oh, imagine, the deep. <laughs> imagine he flooded him, or the platform was moving a little more. That would be beautiful. Oh, look at the awareness from Fatality. He knew that Anti was going to go for a back throw, so he shielded just for a couple frames, made sure to block the back throw, and then kept it going. Oh, unfortunately though, Esam going to close his final stock out, and this is a very doable 2v1, especially because yeah. MVD's one up smash away, but at high levels, it's so hard to win like this. Yeah. Now the other thing too is that like you know blue team can't hit are, are able to hit each other as well so they gotta be ready for it but okay MVD a little bit off his mark there. If this was a bayonetta main, say Captain Zack mistake for example. Oh, is that it? Oh, oh you get out of here! <laughs> I was gonna say I'd be really afraid for anti if it was a, a more polished bail. Not that yeah. MVD is bad by any means, but you can't not. rely on it to get the hit off one or kill off one hit. Whereas Anti just needs to uh, apparently just get a grab and a forward smash. And forward smash. That's all it takes. Here. Repping that NASCAR shirt. We are in Daytona, of course. We are. CEO's yeah, first year away sure. from Orlando. That was actually also my first time driving by the stadium. You know, it's like all the way nice. in Florida, I never come by this area. So. And you know what? If you're watching the stream, that means you missed it. Should have come out an inaugural event in the new city, but of course, there's probably going to be quite a few more of these I, I definitely, afterward. I definitely see a lot of these coming. Yeah. And uh, make sure, if you have any of an inkling and of interest to see Japan Pro Wrestling, oh, yeah. they're probably yeah, going to yeah. come back. I did not realize you had to buy your tickets online because they are sold out now, and now I can't watch it. I'm, I'm salty about that. The I'm line so occupies so the entire out. building, actually. Really? I Yeah, I was just coming in, and I saw all these people in a line. I'm like, what's this for? They're like, New Japan. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, that's now crazy. I'm really mad I missed out. Oh, God. I've been yeah, so what are we watching this for? That's the real main attraction. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Of course, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U doubles top eight. 
I've, I mean, at, at the end of the day, we can still see these uh, players go off the top rope. So we can get, we can get some of that action there. I want to get my ticket. I can still see dunks. I can still see body slams. I can still people get need need a job at some point. So Just okay. imagine Bayo with a chair. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, you thought she was good already. <laughs> Which times you put you in a cell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Literally hell in a cell. Just tech the ceiling and hope. You know, I actually feel... make make it easier. You know. That would. Honestly, whatever she puts you in, which twist is kind of a hell of a cell at that moment. <laughs> All right. So far, uh, E7 MBD, though, defying my predictions by dropping that first game. Uh, and Anti, of course, able to make that 2v1 that comeback. So impressive. What? Oh, that wow, actually killed finish. Yeah. Town and City, so easy to die here. Yeah. Oh, and that back throw. Actually going to do it, too. Wow. Should have won at 130. Can you just see how Pikachu's up smash ending lag put him out of Falcon's grab range? Really? Nah, yeah, that's, uh, that's part of why this matchup is so bad. Even in Pikachu's lagging animations, Falcon sometimes will just go right over his head. <laughs> that makes sense. Actually, he is kind of crouching when that happens. So if he can't grab the tail, perfect sense. Yeah, like he missed the grab and then grabbed again at the same exact distance and got it after the animation finished. Oh. Wait, wow, a Pikachu, Pikachu up air up kill. I've, yo, are we playing? I've seen point nine, but is this 1.1 right now? <laughs> Everyone is dying <laughs> super early. Honestly, I would not believe. I, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. <laughs> we'll check. I set up bad for this. Yes, the backdoor and fatality. I just love his awareness of that. So many people always they just forget to block the first throw or first hit of Mario's back throw. Yeah. But, ooh, the out smash coming in clutch. Yeah, right now, uh, anti fatality kind of going against our predictions. Yeah, for sure. This is not only them actually winning, but in a bit more of a convincing fashion than I'd expected. Yeah. As anti comboing MVD to pieces, Esam finally getting the message, coming to the rescue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you just let him go or held him there, that could have been destructive. That might destruction. Be Those techs, though, as a Falcon player, if you don't have that, you are just going to die so yeah. many times. You wouldn't be top 15, 20 in the world like Fatality is. Or I have a chance. Reading that shield on the platform. Just leaving Esam and Anti to duke it out on the floor, but that's fine. Mario, kind of the answer to Pikachu, even though oh. Captain Falcon gets beaten up in this matchup. Yeah, and right now, this is looking like Kurt. He's in map. Yeah. And he was holding away, too, for the back throw. And that is literally all to Pikachu row for their one shot bracket. <laughs> well, hey, I'm glad I didn't bet on it. Yep. Because I definitely would have taken Esam and MVD. Again, I think Pikachu being such a great answer to Falcon. Is a big part of why I would have chosen them. Yeah. Of course, aside from their uh, really rehearsed chemistry over basically 10 years of teaming. Yeah. No, but no, anti fatality able to get it done. Very solid, on-the-fly kind of team. I believe they've uh, teamed one or two other times in tournaments. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be surprised. Anti is, like, always one of those people that, like, asks last minute for doubles partners. Yeah, he just did that. I so. just saw that.